over the weekend uh, found some some fun stuff. Uh, one of the the greatest things that I found, um, or it was uh, presented to me, we love Duke Wayne. John Wayne is just uh, an amazing. Um, he was a horrible actor. Mm -hmm. He made terrible movies. Yes. Uh, he was a stiff. He just it was awful. But for some reason, he became one of the most popular, well-known, in-demand actors um, in his day. It was and, one of the biggest names ever. Yeah, ever. ever. I mean, John Wayne, fucking huge. And he was just terrible. So someone sent me a link to a trailer for one of his 70s movies. Uh, yeah, hold on for a sec. Uh, I'll, I'll cue you. <laughs> um, for one of his movies. Now, here's what happened with the Duke. When he got a little older, he got into his mid-60s, I think it was, kind of shortly before he died. And... Um, he started ripping off other movies. Like people would, would rip off other movies that had done well and just put John Wayne in them. Uh, this one was well, you called- You mean like they do now with The Rock and Kevin Hart? Yeah, exactly. And every star. They still do it. It's so stupid. You no, know, fucking film has been around for like, you know, a little over a hundred years and we don't have any original ideas. Nothing original anymore. Anyway. Uh, they were doing it at the same time people were doing it successfully right they would do it unsuccessfully with john wayne you might remember uh, a little movie called dirty harry i do with uh clint eastwood playing harry callahan that crazy cop in san francisco with his 44 magnum do you he feel had his lucky? catchphrases right mm -hmm. you feel lucky punk do you go ahead make my day one of the greatest movie lines ever he's pointing a gun at someone who's ready to pull his own gun and do, and all Harry Callahan could say is that would fucking make my day. If you touch that gun, I out. get to blow your brains out. Go ahead, make my day. And it became a uh, part of a cult, uh, a status of, of uh, history. Like we still use that. It's household vernacular. Day. Right. It just became something. So dirty Harry movies, early seventies, very popular, very successful. Uh, Clint Eastwood was perfect in them. Um, they're cheesy now when you watch them, but it's the time. I well, love them. they decided John Wayne needed to be Dirty Harry, but they already had Dirty Harry. So they made a guy, Filthy a Larry. brash Irish cop like Callahan, <laughs> but named Brannigan. <laughs> it's, and they weren't even clever enough to come up with a name like Dirty Harry or... Uh, any of those. So they just called the movie Brannigan. <laughs> and it is so incredibly bad. It sounds like a failed TV pilot about the yes. same thing. Yeah. And it's literally like they're trying to do Dirty Harry with this big oafish old man, John Wayne, uh, who isn't convincing at all do in, you, in the part. Do you feel lucky? I don't. Yeah. I have cancer. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, make my chemo. <laughs> make my day. Wipe me. <laughs> He's so bad in this. I think the plot was Brannigan is, uh, again, a brash, I believe, Chicago cop. You know, they took the name Flanagan and added a B. Yeah, in or a, Callahan. Yeah, like, in a, white, a writer's room just did yeah. that. A team of people well, agreed. Well, Harry Callahan is is Dirty Harry. We'll just call him Brannigan. It's Brannigan. like Callahan, Brannigan, another. And they talk, they use, like, dumb Mick in the, in the movie and shit. Like, ah, Callahan, you dumb Mick. It's very <laughs> racist. And, and, and he, so he's a Chicago cop. But he's just crazy. Like the first scene, You're saying he's he was a loose breaking, cannon. Yeah, loose, loose cannon. cannon. He was breaking laws like major felonies in the first two minutes. He's planting weapons on a guy. He's just a really uh, fucking things up, shooting. And of course, the captain has not. He wants no part of Callahan, so he yells at him. Is it's he drinking Pepto? All yeah, yeah. Oh, God, Callahan. <laughs> so they send Callahan to England to pick up uh, an American that uh, is over there and extradite him back. The, the uh, convict, the guy that they want to pick up is uh, Dean Wormer from Animal House. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, Dean Wormer from Animal House, who always also was a guy that was in the Outlaw Josie Wales with Clint Eastwood. So there's kind of a weird tie in there. You mean the broke man's Gene Hackman? Yes, the broke man's Gene Hackman. <laughs> 
So he's in it. Also, what I as... love the real. Uh, sorry, not to get oh, you off. No, what man. I love about this, and a lot of movies do this, I love when they send a cop who has no jurisdiction to go into another country <laughs> and have any authority to bring somebody. It's my it's favorite. It's so stupid. No one would ever do this right. for any reason. Like I did, it didn't make sense because if you send somebody to pick up somebody to extradite them, it means the guy's already in custody. Like like Brannigan would just have to go to Scotland Yard, take the guy, put his own cuffs on him, get him on a plane and bring him back to Chicago. That was it. But for some reason this guy's still running around. He's and then he gets kidnapped. <laughs> and now Brannigan's got to find him. The the head of the the Scotland Yard thing the English version of the lieutenant back in Chicago is the old guy from Jurassic Park. <laughs> He's the guy spent no expense. You know that guy? The guy who says welcome to Jurassic welcome to Park. Jurassic Park. He's the guy. Really? Yeah. He's the guy in there. And then, um, yeah, it's uh, it's so utterly bad. Here's Let's the trailer. See. Now, just enjoy. We'll probably pause it um, within seconds. Please. A Duke is back. John Wayne is Brannigan. Knock, knock. <laughs> I got for a second. <laughs> That's like a catchphrase. He kicks the door off the hinges at 65 years old. And that's a 1971 yeah. 65 years old. That is. Yeah, that's old. A, a cancer riddled 65. He kicks the door open. He's like, knock, knock, knock. Which clearly he didn't kick it. No, of course <laughs> he's just, not. He's, Who's there? Cancer. He's dressed <laughs> like he's at a, a retirement party. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> just his, he's a big, dumb. John Wayne. Look at his hot belly. Yeah. Knock, knock. You got no room. A tough Chicago detective. <laughs> he puts a, a two by four across Brannigan. the guy's face. You're a public menace. I told you I wanted that big Irish wasted. Police, son, follow that car. He's just the pointing at him with a gun. He's barely jogging. And London yeah. will never be the same. John Wayne is Brannigan. He likes to hurt people. They made some real improvements since I was last year. Thank you. Oh, the sexual he harassment the is just no, terrible. <laughs> he, uh, there's this girl... There's this girl that picks him up from the airport, and like the first thing he's doing is like, ah, look at you, you piece of chicken. He's, like, she's yeah. a detective. I love your '70s triangle tits and <laughs> yeah. your flat ass. Look at those fucking rocket nose cone tits, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I can see that English uh, bush right through your like, fucking pants, like two Pinocchio noses with nipples on. Them. <laughs> Are you transgender? <laughs> I don't mind that. I'm woke, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want your balls, I'm for it. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope you got a penis under there. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> cock, cock. <laughs> Since I was last year. Thank you. He covers the city from Scotland Yard. The Home Secretary there blowing you. his top, demanding to know what kind of a lunatic I've turned loose. <laughs> the Tower Bridge. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, nuts. Yes. Look at that. Well, the view from the bridge was terrific. Oh. oh. Seeing the sights. I can pay 25 grand to get me that view. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even deliver Medium. a line. Oh. He can't even deliver a line. I pay 25 grand to get that, get that view. I <laughs> lost my... Breath. Uh, it's Be okay, Duke. Cut, print, perfect. Let's Fine. move on. We're moving on. Yeah. Check the gate. We're moving on. <laughs> yeah, your doctors told us you had about two days to make this movie. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I see you're losing your breath every time you speak. <laughs> yeah, your lung is pink socking out of your mouth, <laughs> Duke. Maybe. <laughs> you want to take a deep breath and try to suck that back in for the last scene? He <laughs> <laughs> he looks like, like like the old like he looks like Robert Loja right before he died. Oh yeah, it's, it's just in, all kind of bloated. And, and his haircut is different in every scene. Oh I've yeah, noticed. yeah, the continuity is <laughs> is just terrible. Like they dyed his hair, but when he kicks open the door, he's got white sideburns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were in a pandemic. <laughs> I couldn't get my hair soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the Duke. Hey, I'm all for homosexual rights. Gay pride is what the Duke's all about. 
The Duke loves the dick. <laughs> I like to ride horseback, but I don't mind men that ride bareback. Bareback. You <laughs> might have seen dude. my movie, The Cowboys. It was like Brokeback Mountain when we were in between filming. <laughs> <laughs> I have more sex with men on that set than Steve Rubell did in his entire time of Studio 54. <laughs> Cock after cock in my mouth. You know what my favorite movie I ever did was? Chisholm. It's actually a movie called Chisholm. Chisholm. And then I made Chisholm in my apartment. Chisholm. I had it awful from Hollywood where I lived. It's where I kept boys. I demanded they call it cum shot. But they said the closest we could get is Chisholm. All right, Duke. I can pay 25 grand. Give me that view. Give me that view. Meeting the people. Would you like to try for England's Meeting. free dental care? Or are you going to answer my question? It's like Inside such a long, convoluted line. Like, like, go ahead, make my day. Could you pause it a sec? Like, go ahead, make my day is just like, it's fast. It was great. It's right there. He's got the guy's like mouth. He's ready to like curb stomp him or something. He's got his teeth on there, and he goes, how would you like to get a little of England's dental program thing? It just its way too I, long. I understand it's free here, but I don't know the tax system. I, I'm not sure. Let me get a dentist up here to help me with my line. If you want one of your incisors to... You know what's also good about uh, uh, Harry? Is there's it's a tense scene, right? It's you're nervous. You're at the edge of your seat. Yeah, this is just an old guy clearly fake holding down another person. Yeah, that guy could have kicked his ass. <laughs> just, like, just kick him in his old saggy balls. <laughs> kick him in the kneecap. You'll hit his balls too. Just shove him. He'll get winded. <laughs> right. Leave. Yeah. Yeah. There was a scene um, where he uh, his belly's just a bowel obstruction from years of coffee, <laughs> from anyway, years of red meat and, and coffee, coffee. <laughs> cigarettes. He uh, there's a scene where he's upstairs in an apartment, and uh, it, 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 which starts off really odd. There's a bar fight, a barroom brawl that looks like it was pulled out of a comedy western, like it's supposed to be England. And this bar brawl goes on, and it's just one of those knockdown across the bar. They throw someone, the glasses, the woman behind the bar screaming. It, it's so bad. And then there's this drunk guy that they're trying to get information from. Oh, here it is. Yeah, look. It... And, and what are they playing? Let the sun shine in? Yeah. Isn't that from hair? Yeah, it's from musical? hair. But there's Jurassic Park guy fighting. He looks like Bruce Mittman. Look right? at that. And what was that? Please rewind that. Hit. Like he just <laughs> he flicked his hand and the guy goes flying into the bar. What is that? Look. You actually see him lift. You actually see the guy lift himself up on the bar. Oh my to, god. Can you please do it one more time? It is the worst hit possibly ever in film. The guy grabs the bar to lift himself. <laughs> to lift himself up. <laughs> Ah, Jurassic guy. Park guy is fighting. I love the way in movies no one fights like Breakaway that. railing, an, a, a western door on the fucking... Right. Like, they must have had five minutes before the western was going to be filmed here. <laughs> yeah, like... And they're like, all right, we need a barroom brawl. <laughs> and then it's like comedy. They're punching, but... And Brannigan can't even move. He's trying to throw these punches. It looks like a... Fucking arthritis wa medicine commercial. A waspy guy in a suit just completely dodged a punch by yeah. moving. It's England. There's a woman back there with a cowboy hat on. <laughs> Dude, it's literally like like a western. He's questioning people. <laughs> Why were you? I. Huh? Oh. Play the piano, bitch. It's your job. And the sound of the punches is ridiculous. And has access to blueprints and charts for telephone and sewage conduits. <laughs> Under Piccadilly Circus. The chairs aren't even breaking. Oh, the dude just took a punch. <laughs> This place is getting kind of unfriendly. See, now this is the back. drunk guy. He's got a question. So he invites him back to his place or something. Duke's punches like. 
I like how he gets tapped on the shoulder and he turns around. Also, the Duke's fall may have been worse than the other guys. Oh, yeah. He yeah. gently falls on a chair. Well, he's the Duke. You don't want to crack your graham cracker hips. At that point, he's got fucking weeks to live because of the cancer. This place is getting kind of unfriendly. His lungs are like two paper bags in his chest. Where are we going? Just <laughs> crinkling and crackling. There you go, Duke. So many cuts to where Duke's going to be like, ow. You all right? It's fine. They just threw a lot of fake glass on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no reason a window would be that big. Hey, I'm taking a bottle of scotch. And then he takes this guy out. And John, and John, Cleese, John walks Cleese walks in and does yeah, the yeah. silly walk. What's all this then? The ice fell out, pigeon. Oh, as I can see. Jurassic Park guys just hanging out for the fight. So he and this drunk guy get in a cab and go to the drunk guy's apartment. Makes sense. Where they're all drunk and it looks like gay sex is going to happen. Well, sure. <laughs> take me home, big fella. I like the way you fight. Can you take it in the ass as well as you can take a punch? <laughs> hey, this is John Wayne for prep. You know, when I step up, I prep up. Do you, Duke? The Duke. You know what comes with being gay? The AIDS. The AIDS. That's why I rep prep. That's why they call me the Duke. Put up your Dukes. Up my ass. <laughs> Duke. So he goes back to the guy's house. The guy gets killed. He oh, gets dear. shot through the window by some guy with a silencer. And the guy is on the street. Now, Duke is probably five stories up in the building. And he sees the guy walking down the street. And he goes, hey, you. And the guy starts running. Like, why wouldn't you just go down? Don't yell from five stories up. Maybe the guy will still be walking. Or shoot him. The second him. you yell, he starts, or shoot him. The second <laughs> you yell, the guy starts running. And now Duke is running down the fire escape, but all the shots are from the neck down. Oh. And it's obviously not the Duke. <laughs> like, the guy couldn't go down one flight of stairs. It's like, clearly like He's a whipping whip. around the fire escape. Just women's legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a black dude in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a colored gentleman from the waist down. It was, uh, it, it's so bad. Any more of the trailer left? I think there, there should have been. A little answer more. my oh. question. Enjoying the nightlife. This isn't Chicago, you know, Brannigan. That's right, Commander. You can't buy a decent hamburger any place. The li again, the lines are so fucking bad. This isn't Chicago. That's right. You can't w see where uh, some of the uh, old TV shows were filmed. <laughs> the Blues Brothers movie. Can't catch a Cubs game and have a hamburger right. <laughs> for a city known for pizza. We you went with can't it. get a good deep dish pizza. Y'all eat like fairies. <laughs> this isn't Chicago, isn't Brannigan. It? That's right. You don't have some queer actor claiming he was hung by MAGA. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not investigating an intact sandwich in a fake lynching. <laughs> This isn't Chicago, Brannigan. That's right. I can't even see Second City. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a South Side that we don't go into. <laughs> we just let them sort of govern themselves. <laughs> can't get a date and have yeah, just the, the who wrote those thinking that's going to be a good. Everyone's going to be saying that. What he only speaks in catchphrases. In catchphrases, dude. That's what this whole movie was. I don't think he had any dialogue that was longer than one sentence. Right. Like just one sentence dialogue. Oh, the Duke, the Duke. So okay, let's see the rest of this garbage. I wouldn't. He's literally got to hang on to the door frame, <laughs> or he'll fall. <laughs> Actually, behind the door frame, just an <laughs> IV yeah. going in his sleep. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's getting his chemo that yeah. day. <laughs> he didn't want to show the IV going into his hand. Look at how he had to pull he's around. He's kind of like, wow. That gut hanging out. He had to pull around it to get the gun. <laughs> yeah, he can't get his gun out because his fat is holding it into the holster. <laughs> These pants are making my legs numb. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this was interesting because these two guys, of course, one of them is... Uh, uh, they were being held, uh, uh, he was being held hostage by two guys, 
and they had just killed the two guys. One of the guys was um, was the guy that uh, 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 mouths off to Darth Vader in Star Wars. Oh, really? Yeah. He was a guy that kind of mouths off to Darth choked? Vader. Yeah, I think he, was, he wasn't the guy that gets choked, but he was another guy that's kind of sitting there looking all evil. I don't know. But it was, uh, I, I found that pretty interesting. All right, let's see uh, the rest of uh, the Duke here. There were only three things wrong oh, yeah. Uh, did you hear the line? Play that back where he comes in, bursts in again. I wouldn't. Unless you want to sing soprano. There were only three that means I'm going to shoot your dick off. i got to shoot you in the balls. And don't worry, Woke John Wayne will accept the person you are after <laughs> I shoot off your dick. <laughs> There's no problem with transgender people in the Duke size. I'm going to bring you back to my place where I accept you. <laughs> no more dick equals the Duke's friend. <laughs> I believe in gender new neutrality, whatever. <laughs> gender equality. <laughs> overpaid, oversexed, and over here. That's eight miles away from that country. Oh, he's gonna shoot out of a window, but he's gonna shoot out of a car. They put that in the trailer. God save the queen. John Wayne is Brannigan. Oh, there it is. I remember oh. being in movie theaters when I was a kid, watching like a Godzilla movie, and seeing trailers like that, where you're just like, oh, and people just thought they were movies, like good movies. I don't get it. I, they're just with limited I options. don't get it. Such limited options. There, there was one more movie. I didn't give you the clip, but uh, maybe you can find the trailer for it while I, I talk this one up. Because <laughs> it was, uh, again, the, around the same time, uh, a movie came out that you might know. It was called Bullet. It was a movie with Steve, Steve McQueen. McQueen. One of the that fine. is a modern-day car chase classic. And the, the car of all cars. Yes, yes. He's got the Mustang uh, through the streets of San Francisco. A lot of uh, jumps and, and so it's just an amazing, amazing scene. And in Bullet, I believe there is a car with six hubcaps that fall off. That, of that around turns yeah. come flying <laughs> yeah. off the, uh, yeah, the yeah. four wheels. B Bullet's just an amazing movie. What a great Steve film. McQueen was just a man's man. He was uh, still a young guy. He, he uh, did his own stunts uh, for the most part. Uh, really amazing. And the movie was uh, a classic. Well, again, they said, what can the Duke do that is a complete ripoff of <laughs> Bullet? <laughs> and they, they're like, well, we can't call it. What should we call it? Oh, we'll do his name again. We'll just make the, the movie his name. The movie's called McHugh. Now, now, if you don't think that's because they want you to confuse it with Steve McQueen and Bullet, because the movie's a ripoff of Bullet, Holy you're shit. out of your mind. It is. So again... The, his name is McHugh, and it's the same movie as Brannigan. Why don't they just call it Ammo? <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no ammo, reason. Ammo, rounds, <laughs> shots, wh whatever. It's, it's up. Uh, so and now they, he's still the same character. And I have seen McHugh. It's been oh. years, but I have heard of this one. The you other will, one I've yeah. never fucking Brannigan. heard of. Brannigan. You will see no difference in the Duke's acting prowess. Here, he's playing Brannigan again, which is playing every John Wayne character he's ever played. So here is the trailer for McHugh. Of course, Warner Communications presents. John Wayne is McHugh. And this time, for the first time, he's a cop. <laughs> McHugh's in big trouble. Two million dollars in junk is missing. In junk? And somebody's trying to hang it on McHugh. Oh, junk. I thought literally junk. Drugs. Yeah. Patty Samuels. Drugs kids. He's sorry he brought on McHugh, but he rang it up with boil. You're off the investigation, Lieutenant. Pending review. How do I think about it? Franklin. Hey, it's the Green Acres guy. Anywhere. You can Don't always find like him a good see movie. John Wayne's tits. John Wayne's. Everybody throws a gun. <laughs> it's just a shot of his tits. 
<laughs> think about it, Frank. <laughs> C McHugh's double D's. <laughs> oh my God! I'm transitioning. <laughs> These are from taking hormones to make me into the girly I always knew I was. <laughs> you know, I've been a woman trapped in a man's fat body for years. <laughs> Take my gun. It's a metaphor for my penis. Q stands for queer. <laughs> I'm the queer. That was what I wanted the movie called. They said, well, just call it McHugh. I said, could there be a subtitle that says, what a great cocksucker? <laughs> McQueer. <laughs> McQueen. But make the queen in big letters. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to wear a tiara for most of the film. They wouldn't let me, but they said I could wear this shirt that showed off my nipples. Look at her. And you know he's wearing a girdle or oh, something. Yeah. Like like his gut is ready to fucking come it's flying like, out through that shirt. Oh, he's wearing it from, it's like a waist yeah, girdle. Yeah, you can see like the top of the girdle. It's like folding oh. and then it's like, then I got my baby feeders resting <laughs> on the girdle. You ever suck a man's tits? Yeah. <laughs> Men like it just as much as girls do. This is an erogenous zone. <laughs> my gun might uh, go off early if you suck them, if you get what I'm trying to say. They're both permanently tanned from the nuclear site we filmed in. <laughs> <laughs> that place we went to where I've been coughing ever since. <laughs> I might as well have eaten an asbestos sandwich. <laughs> Speaking of which, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> Enjoy McHugh. Uh, yeah, let's roll a little more. He was never part of the team anyway. Oh, I don't shit. like you. I never did. You're a bear. She was in something. I don't like bears. Boy, his love interest that really went That gun's not licensed, McHugh. Oh. That's the uh, same gun that uh, John Travolta got shot with in Pulp Fiction. Oh. Santiago's got company from out of state. Okay. <laughs> I want a stereotypical Negro in my movie. I was listening to Bobby Womack, and I was wondering if you could get him or a guy who looks just like him. <laughs> Make him up like a pimp. I don't care if he's an accountant. <laughs> He'll sing pimps on 110th Street to me. Maybe we could do a sequel with him called Mick N. <laughs> Look how they made him up like a pimp. It doesn't matter. Oh, the times they were just different back then. Oh, he looks like fucking Goldie in the Mac. <laughs> it's just like Mayor. It's Goldie Wilson. He looks <laughs> Mayor. What are you talking about? I want a pimp with eight buckles on his hat, all diamondy. <laughs> hey, this is John Wayne for Black Lives Matter. <laughs> hashtag. I don't even know what a hashtag is. I know what a toe tag's going to be. In <laughs> I can tell when Davis just read the same line. I know what a, a toe tag is. That's what I ended up in after making several pieces of shit. You know what didn't make a piece of shit? My bowels on their own. <laughs> you know, when I wear my colostomy bag, it glows in the dark. The amount of painkillers I had to take to film this movie, the doctors had to scoop out my bowel movements in between each take. I'm John Wayne, and I'm Traceba Ready. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, the Duke, he's so bad. So uh, he's, all right, he's talking to the pimp when we last left McHugh. Santiago's got company from out of state. Santiago's collecting the murder squad. Turn up. Oh. Suspects include That's lifelong friends. Evidence points to police brass. Well, Mr. Douglas. And the payoff is a trap for McHugh. All right, man. Come on out. We know you're in there. McHugh's got a job. If he can't do it with the law, he'll do it beyond the law. 
All right, bring him out. McHugh, the cop nobody can stop. Not even the cops. Ah. Oh, see a car chase. You've never seen John Wayne before. <laughs> what? Like this. Oh. <laughs> Lou Gulliger's in it. Warner Brothers. McHugh. Oh, how about Mick S H I T? That's terrible. Mick shit. Mick shit. People used to go to the movies like like they looked in the newspaper and said, "What's playing, honey?" Well, we have Mash. That's playing. I think 2001: A Space Odyssey is uh, playing. Let's look here. Dirty Harry. Who's the exorcist? Playing. This seems like an interesting <laughs> way to jump. Why? Wow. People are really terrified. McHugh. Of... What's that? What is, uh... oh, John Wayne. You yeah. like John Wayne. Right? You're fucking retarded. <laughs> you enjoy John Wayne movies. You yeah. loved Brannigan. <laughs> you liked <laughs> True Grit, where he had the acting ability of wearing an eye patch. <laughs> right. True Grit was uh, really good. People loved that until the remake came out and people realized how much better it could be with <laughs> someone who could actually act. <laughs> and that was arguably his best movie. Right. I'm a Chinaman. Yeah, didn't he win an Academy? Wait a minute. Did John Wayne win an Academy Award for... I believe he did for win... For True a Grit? I believe he did win Academy Awards. Oh, my God. Which is, I guess now it is fair that blacks are angry. <laughs> oh, they called it true grit for what uh, came out of his mouth when he coughed. <laughs> Best actor, true, true grit. grit. John Wayne has a fucking Oscar. That just shows right there how it just doesn't fucking. How did that win? Hey, I go home and put it in my ass because I'm McQueer. <laughs> They did say that John Wayne, too, behind the scenes, and I hate to ruin this for some of you. Uh huh. Little bit of a uh, fruity guy. A little, uh, a little yeah, they said John Wayne wimpy, was a little queer. A wimpy, a little. Uh, hey, the, you know, when people, men go into the arts, which the motion picture industry was back in the day, you get a little, um, you know, suspicious. And as a young man, uh, like really young man, I think of the 30s when he was doing movies, like uh, extra, he kind of looked yeah. a little poofy. Yeah. He looked a little bit of a poofta. Then he became America's cowboy. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then Clint Eastwood did Unforgiven. And then we all watched Tombstone, and we knew how those good those could be. Right. That we knew. Uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, it's, uh, it's Those spaghetti westerns with everyone. Clint. Everything Sergio uh, directed. Yeah, yeah. And then The Duke. There was, a, there was a movie called The Cowboys, and it was a bunch of kids uh, and, and John Wayne. And they had a, a heard some cattle across um, the state, and people were trying to steal the cattle. And John Wayne dies like within the first fucking half hour of this movie. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Now he's real. I think this was like one of his last movies. John Wayne and the Cowboys. Get me my cum bib. Yeah, I think one of the kids in this, like, and he's a kid. Is uh, the the Revenge of the Nerds guy the <laughs> you know that guy Re Revenge the, of the Nerds? The, I think he's like fucking thirteen in this. The or main something. star? Yeah, one of the kids. Yeah, and there's, then there's the, Anthony Edwards is his name, right? Uh, Who was no, that ER? was the other guy. The other guy is a Carradine brother. That's right. Yeah, okay. he's a younger Carradine, not to be confused with the Carradine that choked himself in a <laughs> Thailand fucking Thailand <laughs> closet. <Hotel. laughs> you know. I don't mind how you get off. Yeah, you gotta hang yourself to. To come to make Chisholm. <laughs> Boy, you sure did avoid getting killed, Bill, up until you decided to jerk off in ladies' clothes <laughs> and dangling in a closet. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Jerk off in the comfort of your own home. Is it that hard to come? <laughs> you need to add all this business to it. I'm not here to judge, but think about your actions. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, Bruce Dern was the bad guy in The Cowboys. And Bruce Dern's always been just a pretty fucking good actor. Bruce Dern is great in everything. Yeah. Bruce Dern makes the burbs fucking, uh, like, hilarious. Bruce Dern's fucking really good. And he was uh, obviously in um, Nebraska Quentin Tarantino's, uh, a couple of Quentin Tarantino movies. He was in movies. Django. Uh, yeah. He was in Nebraska. With, it was really good. He was in uh, the, the fucking Hollywood movie there um, that came out. He was the old guy in the bed. At the ranch. Yeah, yeah. He's at the Manson Ranch. Yeah, he was in, in, he was uh, in that one. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, Hateful Eight. And then he's in that is one. It, is it Coming Home? I know John Voight's in Yeah, Coming yeah, Home. He was in home. that yeah, one. Yeah. Coming? I want to call it Chisholm Home. <laughs> We're going to give the role to Bruce Stern, John. We don't want to call it that. Right. Well, it says Coming. Bruce's movie. <laughs> uh, any, any more of that? Oh, no. We, did we watch? Yeah, we saw McHugh. Okay, McHugh. I I'm so confused. Yeah, the Cowboys was pretty good. Do you got any more of the Cowboys? Let me see some of the Duke's last role, I think, or very close anyway. Do you have any of true shit? Uh, any volume? That's the kid. My name's Honeycutt. That is him. Yeah. I'm 15. And everybody calls me Slim. I'm next. So, so for some reason, the only people that will help him are kids. And they have to fight uh, Bruce Dern and his evil gang of, of people. <clears throat> so, you know, it's a movie for the kids. Hey, you're fatter than me, you little bastard. <laughs> I see when you got a bruise on your cheek. Is that a cock print from a producer? <laughs> Look, I'm not going to assume gender on any of you. <laughs> I'm woke Duke. You tell me what you want to be. <laughs> I don't care if you're a girl, a boy, or maybe non-binary. If you want to bleed from your dick, I'll shoot a <laughs> hole in it. I'll give you a sex change. <laughs> a two-cent sex change. Invo courtesy a cult. It involves my mouth, and I get to keep whatever <laughs> I bite off. <laughs> I just want you to be sure you want to go through with this. Let me show you what it could feel like. <laughs> I got a house of taxidermied boy dicks. I'm woke John Wayne. <laughs> woke Wayne. <laughs>